Hello again everyone, Brett back, altitude scale modeling. Another spur review. Start time to start reviewing the kits. I got at IPMS Chattanooga. Starting with new kinetic gold F104G lift off a Starfighter 148 scale, 200 plus parts, cartograph decals, decals designed by Cross Delta. There's some CAD drawings of features of what you get, two types of ejector seats. Radar, avionics bay, detailed wheel well, bolts, tires, flaps, slats, new engraving technology. There's a little bit about the aircraft if you want to pause it and take a look. And there's three schemes. Obviously since the Luftwaffe aircraft, they're Luftwaffe schemes. There are two other versions of this currently out. A Japanese and I believe Canadian. I know for sure Japanese, don't quote me on the Canadian. But we try to get into this tightly sealed box here. I have not opened it yet, obviously, as you can tell, because it doesn't want to cooperate in the opening part. Ah. That wasn't as much fun as it should have been. But we got it open. And we ripped the box. Good thing I don't sell these things. So we've got a clear and some photo etch. Individually bagged. Three sprues. Decals, directions. And an empty box. Let us begin here. Fuselage. Many of you know, or maybe some of you don't know, Hasegawa made a great Starfighter kit for years. I think late 80s was when it came out, maybe early 90s. It was the Starfighter of choice for a long time. A few other companies have made them. But none, it would seem, are going to have the detail of this one. And right off the bat, we have lots of nice riveting detail and lots of crisp panel line detail. Nice, good kinetic plastic, good detail inside the doors. Uh, looks like we have tiny little ejector pin marks inside the doors. Maybe. Let's see, right. Here and here. But they're very, very small. They may even be covered with paint. But you have nice details inside the doors. You've got one piece slats, one piece tail, one piece flaps. I keep flipping around. And we have a little bit of interior detail on both sides. And then here's that lovely panel line and river detail, even inside the speed brakes. This aircraft had many names, including Widowmaker, Manned Missile. It was considered by many to be a death trap, but it was also highly successful. So that was all the fuselage and wing parts. Now this is fuel tanks, weapons, engines, like ejector seat. Can't decide what side to get it open on.
nice crisp and cleanly molded especially the size of the ejector seats the backs of the ejector seat the cushions the handles on the side the first stage compressor afterburner ring let's just start having a look you're going to be able to detail this up nicely here's what i'm talking about with there's the ejector seats, sides of the seats, the handles, and these sides of the seats. So, lovely detail. You can open up those lightning holes in there. There's your side winders and your engine nozzles and the inside of your engine. I don't see any burring on the round parts. May be more evident if there is any on the landing gear, which better be in here because this is the last big sprue. Crispy bags, which drives some of you crazy and makes some of you happy. Avionics bay. Side panels for the landing gear, weighted wheels, which they talked about on the sides. Beautiful landing gear tub, wheel bay, nose, cone. Would have been better if it was in one half, but we can live with that. Sorry, one piece, not one half. Because it is in one half. So, nice instrument panel. I do not see any burring on the sides of those round parts. There's the nose cone. This is the bottom for the front wheel. I believe this is the center of the bottom for the main landing gear bay. Cockpit. A couple of bulkheads. Intake sides. Again, nice detail. All those little detailed parts going on there. There's the weighted wheels in halves, but weighted nicely. A ring for the canopy. Over here we have an instrument panel and an avionics bay. I'm assuming those are the side wells for the main wheel bay. And then all the ejector pin marks on this are out of place. There's some detail inside of there. And beside the speed, inside the speed brake doors, I do not see ejector pin marks inside the, these or the those landing gear bay doors or the speed brake doors. Nice touch. All right, and then we've got one last bit of plastic with the clear parts and some photo etch, photo etch belts, a couple of their bitty parts. Crystal clear, nicely raised to tape them off. Bunch of lights. So those little little parts right there. Get those on without losing them. But that's not gonna help. Here's how clear canopy is. How clear the front windscreen is. Very nice and clear, and put these away. It'd be a shame if we got messed up because I didn't take care of them. Slide the photo etch back. Here are those wonderfully printed cartograph decals, and we all know how good they'd be. No point in even wondering. No instrument panel decals, so you're going to have to either get a photo etch set or just paint them, give them a good dry brush, a little bit with a pencil. The only part there's a lot of decal film is right there with all those red ones joined together. And because they're cartographed, it won't really matter. And lastly, we have our kinetic instructions.
Learn more about the aircraft. Not sure if it's the same as on the side of the box, but there you go. Screw map. Simple, easy. If you need to order parts, there's your aftermarket services card. More people are doing that. You go online and they send you parts. You may or may not have to pay for them. I don't know. Color call out. Ammo, Vallejo, Mr. Color, Tamiya, Enamel, and Humber Enamel. So there's that if you want to take a peek. Starting with those beautiful ejector seats, no matter what, I think those seats will be all right. Your PE seat belts. Like I said, you may or may not want to replace the instrument panel. Again, it's your choice. This is a three-dimensional instrument panel. There's a color guide for it. Photo etch wouldn't be three-dimensional in most cases. There's the radar setup. Engine. Front wheel well, nose cone going on with the pitot tube, put that in last after you paint it. Main wheel bay, telling you how it goes forward, how to paint the inside, or the color to paint the inside, which is 205 FS, I don't say color, just another FS2631. And various holes for various markings, so pay attention to your markings. Putting a few slots halves together. We got the front combing, heads up display, radar dish. Uh, I don't see anything about weight. Whether or not it's a tail sitter. I don't know, because it's so long and lean. And where the wheels are located in relation to the wings. Maybe not. And there's your landing gear, which fortunately you can do last after you get it all painted up. Looks like different wheels for different versions, so pay attention to that. Main gear. Again, as far back as it sits behind the wings. May not be a tail sitter. Check it though, before you touch the nose cone. Because you don't want to be a tail sitter. Closed, partially open. Looks the same to me. Hmm. I'm looking for a difference. So I guess these doors here. They're completely closed there, and you can see a little bit they're partially open there. And some more lights, your rester hook, lights, antennas, speed brake doors. There's your wings going on. Wings going together, wings going on, so tiny little wings like missile wings. Canopy, open or closed. Some more antennas. Again, canopy closed, canopy open. So depending which one you use, it's depending which one you do. And some more antennas, lights, bits, parts, there's your weapons, your fuel tanks, there's your load mark out, carry out, obviously missiles and wind tips, or fuel tanks. Not missiles, fuel tanks. No color callouts, just black and white. You've got Memogen, 1984-1987, flew the final photo mission in 1987, and again, 1984-1987, again, flew the final photo mission, two different schemes, but they both apparently flew together, and 1985, there you have it, looks good, looks kind of easy, looks like the hardest part will be that beautiful paint scheme right there. Depending which one you're going to do. I think when I build it, I don't know. Because I really do like this one. The one's on the box. I don't know, this one's not really camo. That one, that one just seems to strike my fancy. Strike my fancy. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have been sitting down and 
keeping the nest, planting the chair, and building models. I got a typhoon on the go. But that's for another video. Thanks for watching.